sometimes too when you have like these three strikes you're out yeah. and they make something relatively small into a felony there are impacts from that like you know housing you were talking about right. that earlier can you elaborate sure. on that so that the audience understands that it's not just like we try to think well, it's just these people sitting in prison, and then what happens when they get out of prison? They can't get jobs. Right. So, interestingly, and before I came here today, the American Bar Association compiled um, what they call collateral consequences for all the different states for both misdemeanor and felony convictions. And I went through and looked at a few that, you know, there are hundreds that I didn't know existed. Um, if you're convicted of a felony, they'll revoke your plumber's license. Um, you will be, you can't, you know, drive a taxi or get a, a livery license. Um, you can't um, work as a security guard or be a pipe fitter or be a licensed practical nurse. And some of those convictions, some of those pro prohibitions include if you're convicted of a misdemeanor. And they don't necessarily relate to the crime. Sometimes they do. Some of the statutes say if it's related, I mean, relate to the license. Some of the mm -hmm. statutes do. But some don't. And um, there are all these collateral consequences, whether they come to a achieving student loans, getting public housing, um, uh, getting, uh, you know, low interest mortgages and stuff like that, that, that are impacts that we don't know about. And even as practitioners, we don't focus on, because we're always focused sort of on the actual case and the, you know, the incarceration or the probation at the moment. Um, so those are things that people don't really realize and that I think that they make it more difficult for people to re-enter society. And I think we've got to remember that 90% or 95% of the people who go to jail are coming back out. And so when we put them in a situation where we take away a lot of things um, for no real good societal reason, then we put ourselves in a difficult situation when those people are re-entering society.